Hey guys, I just wanted to show you what the new WordPress 2.8 is going to have a look like. So if you can see down here I'm using the 2.8 beta version. Version uh, 2.8 is not going to be released until next week, it's anticipated. But this is the beta version, so the final version probably won't change too much, probably just include some bug fixes. So the first change is in the dashboard. So if we click on the dashboard here and we have a look at the screen options, you can see that you've got this choice. We This was introduced to us in 2.7, but now we can choose how to lay it out. So we can choose to have one, two, three or four columns for our new dashboard. So say I want to have all of these things on my dashboard and I've only got a small laptop computer or a small screen rather than having them all look very cluttered I can have four columns and all of those things will display in the four columns that I have over here and if I want one column just be one display two columns will have two displays or three and then I can just move things around move that over to here uh, move that over there and this is all drag and drop this was introduced in uh, 2.7 as well but now we've got these choice of how we want it to look so very handy if you've only got a small screen just really easy to move things around mouse onto it and just move it on over so one of the things that I really was disappointed about WordPress 2.7 was they allowed you to upload plugins from the WordPress dashboard but they didn't allow the same thing for themes so fantastic news that's all been fixed and now you can go to appearance add new themes and you can search from the WordPress repository of themes choose the color that you want choose the type of columns um, what subject it is or any sort of special features that you might want so say I want um, just a uh, business theme and I want it to be purple with two columns with a flexible width I can just click on find themes no themes found so I'm going to have to go back again um, so I'll go search again so maybe I just want maybe a pink theme with two columns um, click to find themes and okay so I can have a look at what they found for me tickled pink so I can just preview it and this is a feature that's been around for a while and if I like it then I can just um, activate the theme. So that's pretty cool that now you can actually do the both things from your WordPress dashboard. In uh, the plugin section there's a few more little features in there too. If I want to add a new plugin I can just search for the author, the tag. That's been around since 2.7 or I could go to featured etc. Now do you notice how fast that is? It's a lot faster than what it was and I can also just upload from my file which that was introduced in WordPress 2.7 as well. One of the cool things about the the plugins is the new editor for them. So if we go on to editor you can see when I look at the plugin that's installed um, first of all we've got the readme file and you're getting the full files that are in the WordPress plugin folder before you used to just get some of the files and they were in a text format now they're in actual full template format so you can even work out the line number so if you're getting an error message and it says line 15 you just go straight here and you know it's line 15 that's your problem and it's got a syntax highlighter so it just means that it looks it's the exact 
a plugin that's on your web host. So it's no longer in the plain Jane notepad style, it's exact. And having that readme file there is so advantageous because uh, sometimes, you know, you upload directly the plugin and you don't actually read the readme file and don't realize that you've got to alter other things. So having that handy is a real saver. And one of the other cool things um, about 2.8 is in widgets. So if we go down to appearance and widgets, you can see it looks really different. Um, so you can close those up. You've got your inactive widgets here and the available widgets over here. And now you can add as many as you like. And you've also got all of your sidebars in the one spot. So the theme I'm using is my own theme called WP Flex, which has header widgets and number of sidebars, etc. So if I wanted to put some widgets into uh, sidebar one, for example, I can just drag them over, put them there, and it's moving them over. And the other thing is that you can have now as many widgets as you want. So you can use pages a number of times or meta, you don't just have it once. Previously you could use the text boxes etc like that, but using the other ones you only used to get one widget unless there was something else. You can just move those over and uh, click save changes when you're done. So how easy is that? Much easier and now you've got all your sidebars in the one spot so you can easily get around without that sort of cumbersome way previously of going backwards and forwards. So that's a really cool new feature. One little change is that when you come into the permalinks you'll get this change permalinks rather than the slug and it'll take you directly over to the permalinks basis to change that. And while I'm here, if we press uh, screen options and drop down, we can choose what information that we want to display on our edit posts. So if we want to display tags, categories, the expert, so say we don't want that, we're not going to use custom fields, um, we're not, we don't want post revisions to show up, and we want it all in two columns. So we can do that and then if we come down here it's only going to show us the things that we've asked for. So another little cool feature of just, you know, less clutter on the page and just making things a lot easier. And if we do the same thing for pages, we can customise how that's going to look as well. So if we don't want all of these things to show up when we're editing pages, just have a very easy looking screen and we just customise it to the stuff that we actually want to see there. So it makes it easier, it makes your screen less cluttered. If you're not using stuff, then you can just decide that you're just not going to use it. And on my management page, if I go into edit posts, for example, see I've got a few posts down here. <clears throat> what I can do is just check uh, screen options again. And if I don't want to see like the author, for instance, or how many posts I want per page, I can just change that. And we press apply. And then we're just changing the amount of information that's showing and how many posts are showing. So if you've got lots of posts, you don't have to keep, uh, you know, going through each page if you're wanting to edit something. So again, that's just another cool little customised feature that you can use to declutter some of your site. And now we've just got it easy peasy, no more clutter.